Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who action figure review. So as you can tell, I am kind of dressed as the sixth Doctor, aka Colin Baker, for this, because I'm going to be reviewing History of the Daleks set number 14, The Revelation of the Daleks. Um, this is one of my favourite stories with Colin Baker, but it's actually my third favourite story from the Colin Baker era. So anyway, I'm looking forward to diving into this action figure review for you. So yeah. Let's get into it. Right then, so here is the box. As you can see, we have the two of the Necros Daleks. So we have got a fantastic little imagery of the 14th, well, 13th slash 14th slash 15th Doctor's Titus. I love the Return of the Diamond logo. I really do. As you can tell, this is the 6th Doctor. I really love the, like, the golden sort of spatial effect around it. So we've got the 6th Doctor, History of the Daleks set number 14, Collector's Figure Set, Revelation of the Daleks 1985. I absolutely do love this set. Now, this is the very first time I've actually got myself some F Doctor Who figures from Colin Baker's era because at the moment I've only have the two set, the two Doctors set with the with Steyer and the second Doctor with Perry. So I, that's the only one I've kind of got for the villains of the second Doctor for the sixth Doctor. So I'm absolutely glad to actually say, well, here is Doctor Who set number 14 of the Dalek set so let's dive in to open the box so I don't really care about the damage of the box to be honest because I'm not really going to keep it I don't think I might do so taking it out so we kind of have the just a normal plain box so I literally I'm going to show this here so you can actually pause it if you want so you can read about the story itself and behind the scenes of the Dalek props and as you can see, this features two Necros Daleks. So before I get to the actual figure, I want to talk about Revelation of the Daleks myself. Now, Revelation of the Daleks, it is a fantastic story. So the Doctor and Perry are basically retellerized onto Necros after the Doctor receives a message that one of his friends have sadly died. So he goes to investigate, only to find out that the whole planet has been took over by the Great Healer. And of course, he has also used the dead bodies, aka the bodies of human beings, and turn them into Daleks. And for the ones that aren't turned into Daleks, he's turned them into food and sold all across the planet Necros. Now, at the end of the story, we do see Davros kind of lose his hand, like the palm of his hand and the fingers, but when he's shot by that um, assassin guy. And of course, we do see the return of the Scaro Daleks. So the Necros Daleks only appear like for this two part episode. I have to be honest with you, I do like the design, especially when you see them come in and goes, It is the Doctor! Excellent! So anyway, let's dive in to show you what this looks like. So, as you can tell, I do need to take the plastic, the sticky tape off to get into this, because it's not like a normal, the way it used to be. It's the bubble effect. So, let's get this in. So there we go, let's take away the backdrop. So the only problem I have with this is the like the plastic bubble thing. It really does ruin the box when you take them out of the set. So here is the two Daleks we have in this set. It's really pretty cool to have basically two Daleks from Colleen Baker's only Dalek story. I was a little bit disappointed because I would have loved to see a Daleks, a Dalek from Scaro with a Necros Dalek. I have never really been lucky enough to own a Necros Dalek. I have never been so lucky enough to actually own one of these. So this is the very first time in my collection I've actually got these Daleks. And I have to say, they look even absolutely more beautiful in person than they are on screen. Also, if I match them up with Colin, so let me just pop the actual Doctor figure of Colin Baker there, from his story. Ah, there you are. They went that way. You won't move ahead of us. Move. So the scope for the Daleks is just generally a normal Dalek scope, but it has had a little few tweaks here and there, compare it to last year's Dalek wave with Destiny of the Daleks. So here's Destiny of the Daleks. As you can see, it does look sort of similar, but different. I love the fact we have the right ring rings around the eye stalk comparing it to the actual eye stalk it, you can still tell it's basically 
stuck in the same mold as the ice stalks but again absolutely brilliant so let's take that off i think we've got brand new dome lights they look absolutely brilliant i love the way how it looks a bit black around the actual dome um unfortunately it does move as we do have the wheels as you can tell we do have the sucker and the extermination egg whisk aka the gun same with this one as well and you can actually make it look like they are talking to each other davros has requested us to capture the doctor i obey i absolutely do love this set again it's really good to line up with the colin baker figures as i say i've only got the two doctors with um the santaran the second doctor and perry i did buy a second wave of that santaran set so i can have another santaran to go with it and i sold the other two figures on so to try and build up the six doctor villains i'm really looking forward to adding the next 80s daleks remember it's the daleks into the mccoy era because i haven't really got any daleks for mccoy's tv era i do have his big finish dalek but unfortunately i really haven't got like the imperial dalek so as you can tell for these ones it is basically the next step of the revolution of the daleks going from the standard scaro ones that we see in destiny unfortunately we haven't had a release of resurrection of the daleks i think that might be next year i'm hoping fingers crossed we do get resurrection of the daleks but i think you can kind of get away with a couple of destiny of the daleks set like destiny of the daleks to put next to your peter davidson figures because um to be honest with you i did buy two sets of the destiny dalek sets last year i'd probably buy another set of these daleks just so i can kind of army build around the sixth doctor to make more of a dalek army for him yeah this dalek set is absolutely fantastic to own and i'm really glad to grateful to own it so if i just move the scaro dalek out and the sixth doctor sorry number six i really do enjoy my i really do like my figure of the sixth doctor i really do but these two daleks i am so grateful to add into my figure collection i'm really looking forward to trying and get my hands on the five doctor set with richard herndor as you will see what i own for the five doctors when i get to that video so basically i'll show the two figures that we got for that out of that five doctor set and show all the figures i've kind of built up to represent the five doctors so let me know in the comments what do you think of these dalek sets are these one of the ones you enjoy are you looking forward to having these um, I got these from Telford. They had three left in stock in their local B&M. And I managed to pick these up. So now they've only got two left by the time I've left. Because I really wanted these sets. Just to basically, it's a good wave. I really do enjoy these. I'm quite looking forward to seeing the Five Doctor set. And of course, the Ultimate Adventure set. With the TARDIS and the Six Doctors to go into the Six Doctor collection of the figures. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share. Enjoy from awesome Doctor Who content.